Good morning, everyone. I don't know what time it is when you're watching this, but it is morning here and I have my coffee. I am ready to sit down and chit chat with you guys. Today's video, I am sharing all of my top Amazon choices for a newborn. I have 25 items that I've chosen, so I've narrowed it down. Baby is now in the infant stage, so he's five months old. And having gone through the newborn stage so recently, I feel like this is a perfect time to share with you guys what my must have items are. And then some of the things that I bought that I thought I would need, I didn't use as much. It seems like every year they're coming out with the latest and greatest gadgets for newborns. And I must say, I am glad that we live in a time where there are collapsible strollers and bottle warmers because that has saved me so much time. When you have a newborn, you don't have a lot of time. So anything that is going to make your life easier, you probably want. And I'm also going to be talking about the Snoo today because that is a product that I know a lot of parents have a, a hard time with whether or not they want to purchase. The Snoo is a very expensive bassinet that we did purchase. And I have quite a few friends who bought the Snoo as well. And we didn't all have the same experience. So I'm going to share all the tea with you guys, my honest opinion and other people's honest opinion on that. That's baby crying and my husband grabbing him, hopefully. Yeah, he's got him, okay. Another good thing about this video, it is not sponsored. So I am not going to tell you guys anything that I don't really feel. I have no reason to share a product that I don't actually love. Okay, let me take a sip of my coffee and then we shall begin. Okay. First thing on my list of absolute essentials for a newborn would be two-way zip-up pajamas. When it comes to how to dress your newborn, for me, I realized that we had so many very cute outfits. There's like these cute sets with a top and pants and shoes and a hat. When you have a newborn, you're not sleeping a lot. So depending what kind of parent you are, you might value sleep and time over your kid being dressed in like the latest Yeezys and cool Adidas tracksuit. I didn't care about the latter. I cared about time and sleep. So two ways of a pajamas is basically all my son wore for like the first three months of his life. And honestly, he's still wearing them most of the time. They just make life really easy because when you're changing your baby, which you're gonna change your baby a lot as a newborn, it's so much easier to unzip the baby's outfit, change his diaper, put it back on, and you're done. But if you have like pants and a shirt, if they spit up or anything, you have to change the whole outfit, you know, get it over their head, get it over their legs. Also, when your baby's a newborn, you might not be taking them out as much. So Baby wasn't seeing people, so I didn't really mind that he was just wearing pajamas all day. Second item, if you are a breastfeeding mama, I would highly recommend the Haka. The Haka is a silicone manual breast pump, and it is awesome for collecting milk so that you can store it and save it for later. So what happens is when you're breastfeeding on one side, the other side is usually leaking some milk. You can use the Haka. It suctions right to your breast and then it catches all of that letdown. And we were able to save so much milk this way, which is very nice for later on if you ever wanna go anywhere or maybe you're not producing as much, you have all that extra milk. So that is an amazing product and it's fairly inexpensive. So the Haka would be my second choice. And not all of these are in any specific order. It's just how I thought of them. So the next item I would say, the Baby Bjorn, is a wonderful product, especially for right after baby eats. And maybe you don't wanna lay them down because you wanna give them a chance to digest their food. Our baby had acid reflux, so we had to keep him upright for 30 minutes after he ate at least. And it bounces, so it's just great to be able to have next to you if you're eating dinner or you just want to be able to do something else and have baby right there sitting up and able to see everything that you're seeing. Next item would be the Docketot. This is great if you want baby to just be able to hang out with you anywhere that you go. We just usually had it on the couch next to us. 
baby's crying. Let me go check on it. All right, Ugh, this little guy is awake and my husband's not here, so he will be joining us <laughs> for part of this video. Huh, Abba. Okay, so the next item I was talking about is the Docatot. We really like the Docatot because it allowed us to have baby with us a lot of the time when we were on the couch, just watching TV or, you know, whatever we were doing. We would just bring the Docatot with us instead of bringing the whole bassinet or like laying him on a blanket. It was nice because it has those borders around it so they can't really roll out of it. And he liked it. Um, he didn't nap in it for very long, to be honest. And I didn't mind that because they say not to let them nap in it unless you're around. So um, we only let him fall asleep in there if we were in the room, which didn't last very long. We liked it just for him hanging out, laying down next to us, usually awake. The next item I would mention is a play gym. Whether that's a mat with toys dangling down, just picking a play gym that is best for your um, home. I know not every parent is gonna feel like this, but this is something that I wish I would have done differently. A lot of the toys and gadgets I bought were colorful, which some parents I get, you know, you're gonna want colorful things so your baby can learn how to um, recognize color and it's just more exciting for them to see. So some things I'm glad we got color, but things like the play gym, which is constantly out and in the living room, I wish I got something with more of a neutral palette just because of my own decor desires. <laughs> um, I think I would have preferred that, but our play gym is great. He loves it. It's just this tropical colorful one that I do like it, but I wish we had something a little more neutral and like we could put that one in his room or something like that. So yeah, I would suggest just keeping that in mind if you're someone who wants to keep a certain color theme in your house and cares about that, then you can pick um, baby items that reflect that. Something I wish I would have done differently, so sharing that with you guys. And then a, another item would be a donut pillow. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'll um, have a photo of it here. This little guy. Can you smile for us? Uh, can you smile? He's not ready to smile yet. Yeah, we had a donut pillow and it was great for him. It's something that's kind of between a Docatot and a Baby Bjorn. And it was comfortable and there was a little um, pocket for his legs to go through so he wasn't gonna fall through. And it was just like a comfortable way for him to sort of lay down, sort of sit up and hang out with us. I just think it's nice to be able to give the baby options, whether they wanna lay down, sit straight up or something in the middle. And it's also good for photos. We put him in there for his Christmas photo. I think we took photos of him during Super Bowl with his cute Super Bowl jacket and outfit. They can't hold their neck up, so it's a nice way to just like take cute photos of them. The next item, I'm not gonna give a specific brand that I would suggest. I would just say a collapsible stroller. So a stroller that fits your lifestyle. I know they have jogging strollers. They have like travel strollers, just different types of strollers depending on what your lifestyle is like. I'm not someone who hikes or does, you know, a lot of those types of things. So I just wanted something that was better for just like city walking and something easily collapsible. And I will say because our stroller can break down so quick, it has really helped me in being okay going places when I'm tired or not really in the mood. If I had a big bulky stroller, I feel like that would just be another reason that I wouldn't wanna go, you know, take him to the mall with me or take him to brunch because I'm like, oh gosh, I have to like haul that huge stroller and break it down and all that. I feel like for us, Having a, an easily collapsible stroller that's lightweight has just made us a lot more mobile and wanting, and wanting to go places. So we love ours. We have the Nuna Triv and it came with the Pippa car seat for newborns. Um, so we have that one and it would be comparable with the Upa Baby 
cruise. Next would be pacifiers. If you are planning on doing pacifiers, which, you know, not everybody's into that, which I totally understand, but we did get him on a pacifier pretty much as soon as we got home from the hospital. We knew he wanted to soothe with something like that because he would suck on our fingers in the hospital. So as soon as we got home, I couldn't wait to, <laughs> to try a pacifier on him. And he loved it. It just, it's just nice. For, for us it was when he was crying and they're just out of the womb. It's a very new atmosphere for them and there's a lot of stimulation that they're not used to. So I just wanted to comfort him however, however we could. So pacifiers worked really well for us. He still likes them. He only uses them to sleep. Um, never really wants it before or after that time. <laughs> Any pacifier that works for you guys is good. Um, we actually got a few different kinds, just in case. We got a few different kinds, and I like having just a variety. If he doesn't want one, we'll try the next one and just kind of go through. But it seems like the, the brand he liked the most is Frigg, which I'll link here. And that is what we're using currently as he's eating my hair. So let me, let me just switch our position here bye -bye. next item would be the Frida baby snot sucker I heard so many great reviews about this before I bought it and we have used it multiple times and it's just amazing I like it because we have the bulb snot suckers too but they're just not as accurate, I feel like, as the Frida Baby Snot Sucker. It sounds disgusting, and honestly, my husband is so grossed out by it, but <laughs> I don't mind it. Um, there's a little filter, so you're not gonna get anything in your mouth. That would be really gross, but um, yeah, it works amazing. It's just awesome when they have congestion or a runny nose. It gets it all out really fast. Next item would be an electric nail trimmer. So, Every parent's gonna have a different comfortability when it comes to cutting your baby's nails. There's a great Frida Baby nail clipper and we have that also. It's nice because there's this guard on it so you can pretty much ensure you're never gonna cut skin. And I've used that but I just still get a little nervous about it so I love using the electric nail trimmer. That's pretty much what I use every time. You're gonna have to cut your baby's nails probably pretty often. We have to cut his nails every few days. It just gives me more peace of mind knowing it's a nail trimmer and I can't cut his skin. And I didn't buy a fancy one, I just bought one that was already in a grooming kit. I'm sure you can buy a nicer one and maybe it works better, I'm not sure. I can't say it's like the best one on the market kind of thing, but it works fine. And I like to save money when I can because some of these things for him are expensive. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go check if daddy called us. Come on. Next would be a proper changing station. Newborn phase, I mean, we were constantly changing diapers. I am so glad we had a nice organized changing station. So what we bought, and there's different changing station options out there, but what we bought is a universal changing tray that we ended up drilling on top of our dresser and then there's a cutout for a changing pad and then a cutout for wipes and diapers or whatever you want to have in there. I loved this and I still love it because it's just an easy place to put baby up, change his diaper quick, everything you need is right on top. With a newborn, we were just looking for simplicity and this setup of having a changing station was clutch for us. Next would be a wipe warmer. If you are having a little boy, you guys, I have been peed on so many times because when little baby boys get cold, they tend to pee and I think the wipe warmer is such a brilliant idea. It just allows you to keep them warm down there when you're changing them so that they don't pee on you. And even if they do, the wipe will absorb that pee and it won't get on your face. So I love the wipe warmer and it's just nice. It's, it is, again, a luxury for these babies to be able to have warm wipes on their bum, but it's nice, especially if you're having a little boy. Next would be a bottle warmer. 
old school you could just put the bottle in a pot of boiling water and that's how you warmed up your bottle or you could put it in the microwave i preferred the bottle warmer route and i am so happy with it it is definitely one of those technological advances that i'm very happy about <laughs> it just makes life easier especially when you have a crying baby just throw it in the bottle warmer set it on the right setting and you're done and this is also an item that I had some regrets on because I didn't think about how it would look on the countertop. So I bought a bottle warmer that had a little green logo on it. And when it sits on my countertop, this is all just my personal issues. So I wished I had bought a bottle warmer that looked better on my countertop. So I wanna say that to you in case that's something you care about. So I ended up buying another bottle warmer we were in Phoenix and I forgot the bottle warmer and I was like, you know what? This is a great excuse for me to buy another one because I want this other specific one that was the colors of my kitchen. So I ended up buying another bottle warmer. I'll donate the first one and make better decisions next time and hopefully encourage you guys to make better decisions about that also. Next would be a sterilizer. We use our sterilizer pretty often. You can sterilize any everything from toys to bottles to pacifiers. It's really nice to be able to just have that so you can sterilize a bunch of things at the same time. And it has different sections. So there's a bigger section in the middle where you would put your bottles and then the top section is a little smaller and you can fit your pacifiers and the nipples for the bottles, things like that. We've also cleaned toys in there, um, rattles, different things like that. That's something that we've really enjoyed having. And again, if you're gonna have it on your countertop, some are cuter than others, so keep that in mind. Next would be a bathtub. We got a pretty standard, generic bathtub for baby, and we love it. It has great reviews on Amazon. I did so much research on bathtubs for babies, like so much research <laughs> on all these things, pretty much. I just went overboard, you know, new parent stuff. So this bathtub seemed like the best option and we love it. Next would be a portable changing pad. So we have a portable changing pad that goes in our diaper backpack. And we love this thing because we can just lay it out wherever we are and it's got wipes, it's got diapers, and it's got a little bit of a cushion on it so that baby's not just like laying directly on the floor. It gives something a little softer for a baby to lay on. And we use it at home too. If baby's playing on his play mat, instead of picking him up and taking him in the room to get changed, I'll just lift him up a little bit, put him on the portable changing pad, change him there. So it's useful for a lot of different things. Next would be organizers for baby's nursery. So this is probably more of a category than a product. There were different items that we bought to help organize baby's nursery. And I'm so glad we did this before he got here because things can get a little hectic, especially as a new parent, not really knowing what we were doing. We were trying a lot of different things. When baby would cry, we would go to grab the pacifier or go to grab the toy or whatever it was. And it was nice to just know where everything was because we had spent so much time organizing the nursery. I do have a full video on how to organize a baby's nursery, which was so much fun for me to create and has been a huge help in saving time so if you want to watch that video i will link it down below it's a great video on how to organize your baby's nursery next item would be a diaper bag but not just any diaper bag a diaper bag that your husband would feel comfortable wearing because i don't know about you guys but my husband is the one who primarily wears the diaper bag so we made an agreement he was going to get to pick whatever diaper bag we had so we picked a diaper backpack that he really liked and i like it too so we found a backpack that worked for both of us it has a lot of pockets it has a lot of storage it even has a bottle warmer function in there i have not used that yet but i thought that was pretty cool it has a USB cord for your phone. There's just so many diaper bags out there and diaper backpacks. But one thing I would recommend if your husband or if you are a dad, a future dad watching this, to make sure you guys have a diaper bag that you both like, if you're both gonna be wearing it. The next item I wanna mention is having a comfortable glider or rocking chair. 
This is something that I have used a lot, especially in nursing. And it's just helpful because you don't always wanna be walking around, you know, rocking your baby to sleep, or you know, you wanna have a comfortable chair to sit in when you're nursing or feeding the baby. So having something that you like, a glider or a rocking chair in a space that you're gonna be in a lot is very helpful. I bought a glider that I really liked the way it looked. I really liked the comfortability of it and we're so happy with it. We use it all the time. Next would be a portable sound machine. This is something that we use when we want baby to go to sleep and he's having a hard time and we're out and about. This is again a very clutch item because for us baby loves being in the stroller and he loves being in the car so typically he will fall asleep during those tr kinds of trips but if he's having a hard time we just play his little portable sound machine and he knocks right out it's just so comforting for him and I remember one night we were in the ER and it was so sad and it was really hard and we just had that portable sound machine on the whole night we were waiting in the parking lot in the car for him to get his name called and he just slept the whole time in the car for like six seven hours and it was he was like two months old but we had that sound machine on and it was just so soothing for him so i love that it's great if you're wanting the baby to sleep or you just want to comfort him it's nice to be able to have that Next is a big one. It is a baby carrier or baby wrap. We got one of each. We have a wrap and a carrier. The wrap is great for newborns. I feel like it's just easier to have them in a wrap because their neck is not as strong. So we use that a lot in the beginning instead of the regular baby carrier. And I highly recommend having that if you are a mom on the go or a dad on the go and you want to be able to move around with baby, it's kind of impossible to just hold the baby with one arm and do everything else with the other. So once I started incorporating that baby carrier wrap, it just made a huge difference. Next would be those cute little muslin swaddle blankets. We use those all the time for different things, but when you have a newborn and they just wanna feel close to you and they wanna feel cuddled and Safe. even at the hospital they recommend swaddling baby so I like these muslin ones because they're not too thick and we live in California so it could get pretty hot with wrapping baby in a blanket so we didn't really ever use blankets to swaddle baby we use these little muslin swaddles another item that we really like is the hatch sound machine and nightlight we use this every single night actually during his naps too so we use it all the time it's great because you can adjust the level of the light you can adjust the song the sound it's just super simple to have by the crib or the bassinet so we love our hatch and then another thing that i really enjoy having is multiples of the items that you know you're going to be using a lot and I like to do this so that we have one in the diaper bag and then one in the nursery. There's certain things that you just wanna make sure that if you're out and about, you don't have to remember to put it in the diaper bag before you leave, whether that's a pacifier or a snot sucker or muslin swaddles, whatever it is. Um, it's nice to have multiples of those things so that you can have one for travel. So like I said, we bought this 24-in-1 baby grooming kit and a lot of these are multiples of things that we already have. So I just placed a lot of those items in the diaper bag and then we were able to have multiples of those things. And last but not least, we are going to talk about the snoo. Okay guys. I wanna give y'all the real tea. I even text all my friends today that I knew had the snoo and asked them how it was going. First, let me tell you my experience with the snoo. We started off baby in the snoo immediately when we got home from the hospital. The snoo comes with swaddles that strap in to the bassinet, which I personally love because it just ensures that baby's not gonna roll over. It just gave me peace of mind to know that that wasn't really possible in the snoo. So I love the swaddles and that they give you that peace of mind. The snoo also has a function where it moves and it also makes the sounds that are similar to being in the womb. So it's supposed to mimic the womb for baby and our little guy just loved that. When we didn't turn the snoo on, 
he would fuss a little bit but as soon as we turned it on and it started to move and the sound would go on which, which was like a swooshing sound he just felt so relaxed in there and i will say it was rare that i would put him in the snoo awake and he would fall asleep on his own so i'm not saying that it replaced me lulling him to sleep i still had to rock him walk him around the house a little bit swaddle him and do all those things to get him sleepy and then i would put him in the snoo sort of in between being asleep and awake and the snoo would kind of just do the rest for me i also want to tell you about my friends experiences because it was not the same as ours some of my other friends had issues with the snoo where their baby did not like being in there whether it was because the mattress or they didn't like the sound. I have a friend who would put her baby in the snoo but not turn it on because they didn't like the movement or the sound, something about it. And then I have another friend, their baby didn't like the mattress so she couldn't even use the bassinet at all. So that was kind of a bummer and probably a painful purchase because they are so expensive and that particular friend happened to buy it new. I felt really bad <laughs> because this new worked so well for me and she asked me how it worked for me and I told her and she bought it and then it didn't work for her. So I wanted to make sure to tell you guys that it doesn't work for everyone. And now when people ask me about this new, I make sure to not just tell them my experience but some of my friends experiences because it is such a big purchase. I wanna make sure that, that people know there's a risk involved that your baby might not like it. And I also have other friends where their baby didn't like it initially, and now they're seeing, as they're putting the baby in there consistently, the baby's starting to adjust and adapt and now likes the snoo. So it really just depends, and I think it's best to just make the decision that you think is best for you and your family. I wanted to make sure to say, the good stories, the bad stories, and then now I will tell you some financing options. So the three options for buying a snoo would be, first off, to just buy it brand new. Brand new, I wanna say it's around two grand right now, so it's, it's an expensive purchase, and so that's the first option. Second option, they also have a program where you can rent the snoo per month, and I wanna say it's about $160 a month to rent, that's in the US. I'm not sure how it, where, how it is in other countries or if it's available in other countries. But in the US, you can rent it on a monthly basis, which I think is a good idea if you're not sure about it, but you want to try it. You know, if it doesn't work the first month, you can just send it back and you only spent 160 bucks. You're getting a machine that has been pre previously used, but Happiest Baby ensures that it works properly and it's been cleaned. So that's the benefit of renting one versus the third option which is buying it second hand buying it second hand is the riskiest of all of these options it is what i ended up doing the reason i say it's risky is because you just never know who you're buying it from so i would definitely recommend making sure you have a thorough conversation with whoever you're buying it from and even then it could be a little a little iffy so if you're buying it second hand just be cautious. We looked on Facebook Marketplace, we looked on OfferUp, we ended up buying ours on OfferUp for about half the price, and we're really happy with it. We got lucky, I would say, and I just wanna make sure to mention that it is a little bit risky buying it secondhand. You have to make sure that it works properly, that it's clean, you know, all those things, because it is your sweet little newborn baby that's gonna be going in there. So my honest review of the snoo is if it makes sense for you and your family and you are willing to take the risk that it might not work, then I would say I do recommend getting a snoo. I love it. All of you mamas who have a newborn that might not be sleeping that well, you might wanna close your ears because you're gonna cringe at what I'm about to say. But our little guy is a very good sleeper, knock on wood. I have no wood here, here we go. Knock on wood. He is a very good sleeper and he started at about two months sleeping 10 hours at night and he slept primarily in the snoo. So for us, the snoo was very much worth the investment. We personally are really happy with the snoo. So that is going to wrap up our video today. My top 25 Amazon newborn essentials. 
and my honest review of this new. I like to create videos that I would have wanted to watch as an expecting mom. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if there's any other videos that you guys want to see, please be sure to leave a comment below and let me know. I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.